Hi, my name's Simon from Motordrome. Today we're going to take a walk around and a drive of this uh, N registration Land Rover Defender 90 300 TDI pickup that you can uh, see lurking behind me. One walk around video, one driving video, plus a bit of engine running action at the end. Um, sorry, my eyes are screwed up, but I'm looking directly into the sun. Um, hope you like the videos. There we go. Okay, let's take this N registration, so either 1995 or 96. Uh, Land Rover Defender 90 300 TDI truck cab for a spin showing just over 92,000 miles so we'll say 93,000 miles uh, and as as we've said in our other video we've uh, sold this one before last year uh, to a chap that loved it so much but um, decided to upgrade it to a, to a Puma 110 so he could fit his large dog in it anyway Oh, light ignition light come up as they should, as does the cold start light. Starts nice this one, hot or cold. A little bit of uh, puff of smoke just out the back there on startup, but uh, not uncommon on the 300 TDI. Let's turn the stereo down a bit. Move that out of this parking space. Obviously you've got power steering, which helps. And off we go. So yeah, it starts on the button, no signs of any misfiring, hesitancy or overheating. Uh, I did notice just then a very slight graunch when I was going into second, so I'll just uh, stop and try that again. It may have just been I was doing it too fast. I know the last owner has been up and down a sort of half mile track to his house for the last year and I think he's probably worn out the rear shock absorbers because it just feels a bit funky at the back end. Possibly the um, rear A-frame ball joint uh, as well but whatever, it's, it's, you know, that, that will be, um, they're all MOT points and we're going to be selling it with a fresh MOT. So it just feels a bit harsh around the, um, around the rear axle area when you're driving it. Something. Steer's nice to know, it goes where it's placed, it's not um, wandering all over the road like they can do sometimes. Temperature gauge is sitting just below the halfway point, as it should, so no overheating. Heater blower motor works. that thumpiness from the uh, rear end um, it's actually pretty rattle free in fairness pickups normally are helps that it has been re chassis in fairness
us if pedal pressure needed or uh, pulling to one side or funny noises or anything. Let's get on with the job. So I think there we have it really, there's not much more I can say about it. Um, my name's Simon, you can reach me in the office on 0118-907-1495 or you can go to our website which is www.moto-drone.com for any more info. Right, quick video of engine start up and running on this uh, 93,000 mile 300 TDI. Lights come up as they should, don't need the cold start, it's nice and, uh, nice and warm. Doing what it should. See the EGR valve been deleted. Funny noises. Red 